Hey friends, welcome back to Homestead on a Prayer. Today we're going to take the next step in our side yard garden expansion project and this is one of the things that I'm most excited about. We are going to put up a trellis in between two of our raised beds there. It's really easy. We've done this in our main garden a few times before. We're going to use a cattle panel that you can get from Tractor Supply or any of your local feed stores, something like that. It compared to other trellising options, it's pretty affordable, it's pretty easy, and it does look really magical when it's covered with stuff growing on it, right? Magical. <laughs> So the cattle panel that we're going to install today is going to go between these two raised beds here and basically make an arch over the walkway. Now the benefit of doing that is that it will allow us to grow plants vertically up the arch trellis using only a couple inches on either side of the raised beds as growing space. And then the majority of space that will be used will be walkway space. Plus it's just gonna make the garden really pretty and really nice. It'll allow us to grow some plants that climb, on this one, I'm probably either going to plant some beans or some climbing winter squash. We'll figure that out as the season goes on. But for now, let's just go ahead and get our arch installed. So as you can see, Dan has a T-post there. That's what we're going to be using to support our cattle panel. So we're just going to install two T-posts on each side of the raised bed here. Now, one thing that complicates it a little bit is you can see we have this landscape fabric running right up to the edge of our raised beds here. So we're going to have to find the spot in the wood chips where these are going to be installed. We're going to cut out just a little hole for them with the scissors and then go ahead and install So them. now if you were just installing this right into a regular garden bed and you didn't have to worry about landscape fabric, it'd be a little simpler. But we're just going to show you how we're doing it today. So these cattle panels are about four feet wide. So we want to have the T-posts spread out pretty well to just to support our cattle panel evenly. So you can see we've got our little holes through here. So we can go ahead and just install these T-posts right through that hole there. So did that go in pretty smoothly, Dan? When we installed the trellises on our other garden, we hit a lot of rocks and other questionable things, making it a lot harder to get these in the ground. Here, I guess the ground is a little softer, so it's working pretty well. Okay, so then we just have to go ahead and install two T-posts on the other side. I don't know if it's, gonna, if it's really necessary to cut the fabric. It'll probably just, would just tear when you're pounding in the T-post, but I figure this probably just makes it slightly easier. So I just hammer these in until this section here uh, is below the dirt line. That's usually deep enough from my experience anyway. It gives it plenty of stability. And I hit a rock. Yeah, I was gonna say that started sounding a little ominous. See, it was because I was talking about how the ground was so much easier here. <laughs> All right, so we decided to just move over where we're gonna install the T-post by a couple inches and hopefully get better success. All right, we're trying one more spot. We moved over a couple inches the other way. So far it's better. I think you hit that rock before this point. So you can see this is actually pretty easy. Aside from hitting the rock, you're just going to want to install two T-posts on each side to support your cattle panel. So let's go grab our cattle panel. So ideally, now that I'm looking at this, you probably actually would want T-posts that are slightly taller than ours, but I think these will still be fine. So the easiest way that we found to really attach the cattle panel to these T-posts is using zip ties. 
So we just want to make sure that it is up straight up, and just kind of thread the zip tie around it as tight as possible and hold it in place. You're going to want to attach the zip tie at multiple spots along the length of the T-post just to prevent your cattle panel from bowing or kind of mushrooming. So actually, I know I said longer T-posts would be ideal, but actually I think these are working fine. Now one thing to keep in mind is that depending on the placement of your T-post, the wire from the cattle panel may not line up exactly. So you may need to use zip ties that are fairly long, depending on the exact placement of your pole. So there we go. All right, so here's the final trellis. So these cattle panels are 16 feet long before you bend them. So taking into account the width of the walkway, this is probably, what would you say, six and a half, seven feet tall, something like that? Yeah, around there I'd say. So, and it looks nice and sturdily installed. So I'm gonna look forward to growing lots of vegetables on this cattle panel this year. So as you can see, this is actually really easy. Honestly, I think the hardest part of this project was probably getting the cattle panel home, considering that we don't have a pickup truck. I did post a video of that a few days ago, so I'll link that in the video description in case you missed it. We did manage to get it home. We actually have one more cattle panel that's going to go between the other two beds in this garden area, and we have plans for a third one. We don't have it yet that's going to go also in this garden. In the meantime, I hope that this was helpful for you guys. I hope that you are encouraged to add some vertical growing spaces to your garden and that you're encouraged to see it's actually really easy. So I hope you guys are having a great day, and I'll see you guys again soon. See you next time.